In this video, I'm going to show you how you can uh, process or use a uh, unit model you train to uh, segment your images. So here is where we left, where we were left with the with the different training, and we saw that E minus four for learning rate uh, seems to to give good results. So that's that's the one we're going to use. Uh, something we didn't do, um, we didn't uh, try that augmentation. It might improve a little bit uh, the accuracy. So that could be a good idea. Uh, but here, uh, we'll, we'll just um, use this model. So I can now close the training, kill it, shut it down, and use the running uh, notebook to process the images. So again, organized as usual. First, we load the codes and everything, and then we define the parameters. So here, the input directory is the directory with the images we, we process, so it's going to be in test. The input model, so here I have, so the, the model names are defined by the parameters. We saw that uh, learning rate of E minus four, this one uh, led to uh, uh, curves that look better and probably better results. So I'm going to select this one. Output directory, I'm going to define one, so create, create a new one. So if I go back, my folder here. So in test, I have the images. So maybe I can create a new folder that I'm going to call results. So I can select it here. So if I go back, that is sorry, that I said entertainment trauma results. All right. And then we can either define the score or uh, for each pixel to get the maximum, uh, so the class that gives the maximum score. So we're going to start with the score to understand how it works, and then we'll do the other one. So number of channels adds two, and that and site of keratine, and the image field is 512, 512. Now I can stop the running. So at the beginning, it tells you how many images you're going to process, so 14. The first time, it takes a little bit of time because we need to load the model and then it goes pretty fast. And so we can have all the results. If I uh, go back to the folder, so let's have a look at the first image. So here it's it's uh, it's in the stack. So the first one corresponds to the DAPI, and this corresponds to the cytokeratin. So maybe uh, to have something that's easier uh, to visualize, I'm going to do a stack to images. Merge channels. And I'll take first stack, second stack. All right, so we can have a look at both. So if we want to have the same colors as before, it should be in blue for that. And I can have a look at my results if I go back to results, open it. That's what we got. So, as you can see, it looks pretty fine here. The background is in red, the epithelium is in green, and the stroma is in blue. Uh, interestingly, we have some uh, stroma islands, I would say that, and it's actually correspond to isolated. Really push. See, we have this. Uh, I'm not sure it's real cells. Look, this person fluorescent. So that's why we have this islands of smaller in within the bubble. So here, if you look at this image, we have different stacks, and we have a score for each of them. So, if I'm in this region, a very high score. If you look at the Fiji console, it's zero to eight for background, and it's. 0 to 0 to 1, 0 to 0 1, or 30 and 0 to 0 8. 
Now, if you directly want to have the classes, you can go back to the notebook and then check score. So as I said before, that's going to compute in at each pixel. It's going to assign the class that obtains the highest score. So now, if I go back to my results, now we see we can directly look at the result because it's just RGB with, you know, here, there's a sort of you know, background here in the schema and here in the epithelium. So looks pretty good. Now, uh, well, we could do some post processing to uh, some, for example, remove the regions so like here, there's a very small isolated epithelium area. Uh, same thing here, background. So here we could use some you know, fast processing to remove this. Something in this region, maybe they should be removed. Um, also, we could do some data augmentation to improve the accuracy of the model. 